is Rilhana Domingo and I am the Child Protection Manager for World Vision Philippines. I will be sharing the power of joint advocacy for the protection of children in times of COVID-19. COVID-19 pandemic continues to be an overwhelming challenge in the Philippines. Prior to COVID, violence against children is pre-existing in the country. The National Baseline Study in Violence Against Children in 2016 shows that 80% of children in the Philippines have experienced physical, sexual, and psychological violence, whether in the home, school, or community. Since March this year, the Philippine government has imposed quarantine measures to limit the spread of the virus. Schools were closed, public transportation and economic activities were suspended, and movement and curfew hours were imposed. Until today, a general community quarantine remains in place. The prevention measures to combat COVID coupled with the negative impact associated with the pandemic can definitely exacerbate the risk of violence and bring unintended and hidden consequences to children, especially the most vulnerable. Reports reveal that children who are living in abusive relationships within their homes are more vulnerable to further abuse, neglect, or ex exploitation. Also, there are reports of children who are experiencing severe punishment from local government officials for violating curfew and quarantine protocols. Violence prevention and response services have also been disrupted due to COVID-19 efforts. Reports of online sexual exploitation almost tripled since the lockdown. Since the onset of COVID-19 in the Philippines, World Vision has been working with the government and other actors to prioritize particular protection needs of children. As a community-based organization, our program teams are very active on the ground, not only in responding to COVID, but in emphasizing the prevention of protection risks to children during this pandemic. We are taking a systems approach to child protection to strengthen the protective environment of the child, adopting our child protection efforts in the context of COVID and building on our work with child protection committees, local authorities, local volunteers, faith leaders, parents, caregivers, children, and young people themselves. And in our work to prevent violence against children in the time of COVID, advocacy is critical. World Vision Philippines' active engagement with the Philippine Joining Forces Alliance, the National Child Protection Working Group, and other civil society coalitions has led to concrete actions by the Philippine government to institute policies and measures to protect children. This includes, one, adopting a health and child protection rep referral pathway for COVID-19, Two, issuance of a policy ad advisory for the activation of violence against women and children desk and an activation of local councils for the protection of children during COVID. Three, issuance of joint memorandum circular on the reiteration of protocols on proper reach out to children in street situations and children at risk. And fourth, joint advocacy statements, press releases, position statements addressed to local authorities to prevent violence against children and prioritize child protection services were also developed. In communities where World Vision is operating, we also make sure that these national issuances and policies are adopted at the local level. And we learned that advocating with the local government for child protection requires constant monitoring, follow-up, and equipping to ensure advocacy efforts for child protection translate to increased awareness, policy changes, and concrete actions. In all these, we learn that perspectives of children and young people play an important part. Children were also consulted in developing action plans and recommendations, and nothing is more powerful than hearing the voices of children and young people to inform the advocacy work to prevent violence against children in the time of COVID. As I close, let me share this quote from one of our sponsored children, Joshua, urging all of us as child protection advocates, let us all protect children. Let us keep them away from any abuse because every child deserves a childhood surrounded by protective families and communities 
free from violence and with opportunity to thrive and experience the abundant life God has promised. That's all. I thank you.